Good evening, everyone. My name is Mike Dowling, and uh, first I realize this is a very, very long night for all of you. It's probably a world record for a Palm Beach County School Board meeting, and mm -mm. I do appreciate your patience. No. I'm a teacher in the Palm Beach County school system for going on 18 years. Now think about this for a minute. You trust your teeth to your dentist. You trust your finances to your money manager. But society has trusted me with what they treasure most, their children. This is something that humbles me and motivates me. And on the days when I succeed, excuse me for feeling like Superman. But Superman has encountered kryptonite in the form of this new curriculum. <laughs> We have forgotten why we're here. We are focused on numbers and not people. At Roosevelt Middle School, where I'm a teacher, we are told to have data chats with, and I'm quoting here, I would never use this language myself, with level ones and level twos. That's a direct quote. I have never met a level one or a level two in my life. I have met children who are working at level one and level two. You see, this is the problem. It sounds like a small issue, it's not. We're focused so much on numbers that we have forgotten why we're in education. Our children are quickly becoming labels as the humanity is drained from our classrooms. As a teacher, I have no objection to the county recommending a curriculum path. It makes sense. It'd be a great idea if the teachers in the county could share ideas and develop best practices. We'd all get better when we learn from one another. It makes sense. But that's far from what's happening. We now have the nightmare George Orwell imagined in 1984. Children defined by their level, a dehumanized and dehumanizing curriculum. If the curriculum were well thought out, I'd gladly be on board, but no. Today I had David Morris and William Manuel, the mayor and vice mayor of North Palm Beach in my class. They were excellent speakers, but the children had no groundwork. The speakers were there because it was city government week. When do I teach local government? Well, I used to teach it in March. You see, that's logical. You teach city government after state government. You teach state government when the legislature's in session. This year, as the kids would say, I don't know. The lesson plans are incomplete. They are not on Learning Village, and they're changing on a daily basis. To Mr. Barbieri, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for caring and understanding. Not why we are here tonight, but why all of us, why all of us are in education. For the rest of the board and Dr. Johnson, I beg you, I beg you to end this Orwellian nightmare. As a teacher, I'm honored, I've got 10 seconds. As a teacher, I'm honored to be someone who prepares children for the future. But we can and must treat our children as individuals and not as data. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dallin.